Hello everyone, this is Matthew Zagaya, and today I will be giving a tutorial on using minivan on uh, your iPhone. Uh, first off, in order to uh, get the app, you should uh, go to the Apple App Store and down search for minivan. Uh, Touch is the name of the application. Uh, download it, and then uh, once you open the app, you will be greeted with a screen like this. It will, uh, of course, ask for your uh, username and your password and a URL. If you're in Connecticut, your URL is ctvan.com, and your username is the username you were given by the van administrator and uh, the password that you set up. Uh, so after you've entered these, you just click Go. And you'll see an option to uh, select a database. And in uh, my case, uh, if you're in Connecticut, you just select My Voters. And uh, you'll be presented with a list of TERFs. Uh, the TERFs are TERFs that were uh, set to your device um, from your van administrator or uh, that you've uh, sent to it yourself. And I will uh, cover how to send TERFs to your device from van in another screencast. Um, but the other option is if you have a printed list, you can click list number in the upper right hand corner. And you can copy the uh, list number in the lower uh, bottom of the sheet uh, and type it in and click submit and uh, Minivan will download the list onto your device. Um, so now uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, pick the turf that you're going to uh, canvas. In my case, I have this one turf here. It will give you some information about it. And then uh, all you got to do is click the uh, download list. And the list will uh, then be loaded. You have uh, three options at the bottom. Uh, so it's like you have summary in order to uh, show what the responses were. Uh, you have your uh, number of people that were home and moved and that sort of thing. And... Uh, but the first thing you want to do is you want to, uh, when you're going door to door, click View List. And here you will get the list of houses and house numbers. Uh, what you'll want to see is that you'll have these uh, gray boxes with numbers in them. And so that's the uh, number of voters in each house. Um, you can actually have a couple of sorting options. If you click the button in the upper right hand corner, you can pick uh, only evens show only odds so if you like to go up one side of the street and down the other then uh, that's a helpful option or if you like to zigzag you can uh, click all you can also uh, display the voters by people if it's easier to search for someone that way and you can uh, display a map of the turf and so that way you can uh, see where you're walking and you can even click the pins and see uh, who's there and uh, you also have the option if you click the button up the right hand corner and when you're out walking it will uh, show you where you are. Um, so typically I just click houses and then I will click a voter and then after I click the voter and I see uh, who's a registered voter at the house or who's put on the list as the target voter to contact. Um, you have the option uh, as you go through to uh, click these up and down arrows to go to the next house and back to the other one so you don't have to keep clicking back. But uh, just click the voter and you choose your option. Uh, the first one you might use is status. And so this is if the voter is deceased or they moved or they're not home. You can click one of these and you're done. And then the other option is if the voter's home, you choose script. And uh, your script is conveniently here. And then uh, you have your two questions. So uh, can I count on your vote for me? And you just click the question and then you click the response. And it will uh, log your response. And then you can do the same for the second question. And then uh, after you're all set, uh, you can just go to uh, history and you'll see that uh, the responses were recorded. You also have a place for notes. If you want to write a note about your conversation with a voter, you click add new note and you can say like, thanks, 
education is important and click done and then the note will be uh, primed and so uh, after you're done you click back and you'll see here that uh, there's a checkbox so that it uh, shows that you've already talked to the voter and click back and you'll see one of one voters were contacted and uh, so you just keep going to the next house and talk with the next people and keep going through as you're canvassing. Now the final question is, once you're all done, what do you do next? So the answer to that is you're going to click back in the upper left hand corner. Uh, you can uh, then click the sync button. It's going to ask you to log in. And so you're going to have to uh, provide your password in order to uh, log in. So just type your password here. And then after you enter your password, it's going to ask you to select your database, so my voters. And you'll have four options. The uh, option you'll use most frequently is sync data and remove list. That will send the data up to the van database. Uh, you can also sync data and keep Canvas results if you want to just uh, keep on your device a record of what you've done. You can sync it and clear the Canvas results. That's if you uh, plan on using the turf again and doing a second round. Uh, and then finally, if you've screwed up or you don't want to use the results, you can choose Remove List and Do Not Sync Data. It will uh, ask you to confirm, so I just click OK and uh, you'll be kicked back to the home screen where you can once again log in, choose your database, and then uh, load up a new list and move on to your uh, next turf. So that is uh, everything you need to know about using the minivan application on your iPhone. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to email me or uh, give me a call. Thank you.